Hi, this is Kurt Benick. We're here at the 2020 Work Truck Show. I'm here with Roy Horton, Director of Product Strategy from Act Trucks, and we're standing in front of the, one of the new products. You have an MD6 and MD7 medium duty trucks from Act Trucks. Can you tell us a little bit about this product? Yes, we do, Kurt. So it's a brand new product line from Act Trucks, something that we add to our existing Class 8 uh, uh, offer. So uh, Mack Trucks is now a Class 6 through 8 uh, offering in the, in the marketplace. Uh, we have two different uh, models to, to, to begin with. One is the MD6, uh, which is uh, uh, the Class 6 vehicle. And class 6, if you remember, is from 19, has GVWR from 19,501 up into uh, uh, up into 26,000 pounds. Uh, so there's no CDL required for the for the Class 6, and there's no FET. Uh, federal excise tax on the sales price. And Class 7, uh, it, it's uh, from 26,001 up to 33,000 pounds. Uh, you do need a CDL, but you do not, uh, also, you do not pay uh, FET on those models. Uh, so we, we started by developing our MD6, uh, and then we uh, uh, grew it to an MD7. Uh, and, and instead of uh, starting from like a Class 8 vehicle and trying to uh, crunch it down into a Class 6. So we actually developed a Class 6, uh, MD6 first, uh, and then grew it. Okay, I understand you have a, similar to other Mack trucks, you have a lot of premium features on this truck not found in across, typically found across the medium duty truck range. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so one of the first things we started with was just the exterior. Uh, we started with uh, giving it a bold, distinctive look that's in line with the Mack uh, Mac image and values. Uh, so we borrowed some of the design themes from our Highway Class 8 Anthem truck uh, mm -hmm. and brought that over to the medium duty market. Mm -hmm. um, we also uh, gave it an industry best 103 inch bumper to back a cab. So that's great for maneuverability uh, and helping to load up the front axle for some body configuration. Uh, on the interior, the driver environment side, we, bar we leveraged a lot of our interior uh, elements from our Class 8 trucks. Uh, so it, it made it a very feature rich product offering. Uh, so you've got tilt and telescopic wheel, it's got our flat bottom steering wheel, all of our toggles and main instrumentation that comes from uh, the Class 8 uh, uh, trucks, uh, driver air uh, seat, you got options for a uh, uh, two-person passenger seat with under bunk storage. We also did things like um, uh, other differentiators uh, for the cab air suspension. It's, uh, it, it, we made cab air suspension standard, so it's not a rubber block or a rubber bumper under the cab. So that improves driver comfort uh, and improves durability. Uh, and then on the chassis side, uh, for our MD6, we have seven millimeter rails, and MD7, uh, we have eight millimeter rails, and both of those are 120,000 uh, PSI rails. So most of the medium duty truck market is uh, 80,000 pound, 80,000 80, PSI rails with uh, with options to go to the 120. So since strength is the, at the very core of max truck, uh, we differentiate ourselves by making the 120 KSI rails standard. Okay, and I understand you, you are using proven to Cummins technology in these Absolutely, trucks as well. Yeah. So for uh, those uh, components, those key components that we do not have in our, yes. our product portfolio. We're utilizing key uh, and partners, uh, supplier partners in the industry. So for the engine, it's a common 6.7 liter engine with ratings from 220 to 300 horsepower. Transmissions, it's uh, Allison 2500 HS as standard with an option for the RDS. And for axles, front and rear axles, it's Meritor. Uh, and then we have spring uh, uh, spring suspension as uh, the standard for the rear uh, with a, uh, an option for air suspension. So I understand now you have a complete portfolio of everything from class six to class eight over the road is that yes yes we do very okay. proud of that well i really appreciate you giving us a rundown on the md6 and md7 thank you a lot thank you thanks